Hello friends, let's make math simple and fun. Today let us solve some exercises from CBSE 10th class NCERT book. Chapter number 8 Introduction to Trigonometry In that exercise 8.1 In 8.1 exercise we solved 1 to 7 problems. So in this video we are going to solve 8th problem. If 3 cot A which is equal to 4 check whether 1 minus tan square A divided by 1 plus tan square A which is equal to cos square A minus sin square A or not. So we have to verify. So for that let triangle ABC here angle B is 90 degree given that cot A 3 cot A which is equal to 4 by cross multiplication we can take 3 to the denominator so that cot A which is equal to 4 divided by 3 let cot A which is equal to 4k divided by 3k where k is a real number. So for any ratio if you multiply and divide it by the same number the value will not change. So from the trigonometric ratios we know cot A which is equal to so cot of an angle A which is equal to adjacent side of an angle A divided by opposite side of an angle A. So adjacent which is equal to 4K divided by 3K. So adjacent side of an angle A is A, B. And opposite side of an angle A is B, C. Therefore, cot A which is equal to AB by BC. So, here AB is 4K, BC is 3K. Now, we have to find out this hypotenuse. So, we know AB is 4K and BC is 3K. So, by applying Pythagoras theorem, we can find out AC. So, AC is Pythagoras theorem, square of the hypotenuse which is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. So, AC square which is equal to AB square plus BC square. AB is 4K. So, AB square is 4K whole square. BC is 3K. So, BC square is 3K whole square. So, 4K whole square is 16K square plus 3k whole square is 9k square. So, 16k square plus 9k square. So, AC square which is equal to 25k square. So, AC which is equal to root of 25k square. So, AC which is equal to 5k. Now, now we have to find out 
trigonometric ratios of tan a, cos a and sin a. So first tan a, tan of an angle a which is equal to opposite side of an angle a divided by adjacent side of an angle a. So opposite side of an angle A is BC and adjacent side of an angle A is AB. So BC is 3K, AB is 4K. So tan A which is equal to 3K divided by 4K. So both the numerator and the denominator having K. So it will get cancels. Therefore tan A which is equal to 3 by 4. Now we have to find out cos A. Cos of an angle A which is equal to adjacent side of an angle A divided by hypotenuse. So adjacent side of an angle A is AB and hypotenuse is AC. So cos A which is equal to AB divided by AC. So AB is 4K, AC is 5K. So cos A which is equal to 4K divided by 5K. Both the numerator denominator having K. So it will get cancels. Therefore cos A which is equal to 4 divided by 5. Now we have to find out sin A. Sin of an angle A which is equal to opposite side of an angle A divided by hypotenuse. So opposite side of an angle A is BC. Hypotenuse is AC. So sin of an angle A which is equal to BC divided by AC. So BC is 3K. AC is 5K. So sin of an angle A which is equal to 3K divided by 5K. Here K and K get cancels. So sin of A which is equal to 3 divided by 5. So tan A which is equal to 3 by 4. Cos A which is equal to 4 by 5. And sin A which is equal to 3 by 5. So now we have to find out LHS. LHS is 1 minus tan square A divided by 1 plus tan square A. We calculated what is tan A. So tan A is 3 divided by 4. So substitute the value of tan A in here. So we will get 1 minus 3 divided by 4 whole square whole divided by 1 plus 3 divided by 4 whole square. So 1 minus 3 by 4 whole square is 9 by 16 whole divided by 1 plus 3 divided by 4 whole square 9 by 16. So taking the LCM, we will get 16 minus 9 whole divided by 16 whole divided by 16 plus 9 divided by 6, 16. So 16 minus 9 is 7, 7 divided by 16 whole divided by 16 plus 9 is 25. So 25 divided by 16. So we have to divide this one. So for that 
we have to take denominator we have to take the denominator reciprocal so that 7 by 16 into 16 divided by 25 here 16 and 16 get cancels so that 7 divided by 25 so 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a which is equal to 7 divided by 25. Next we have to find out RHS that is cos square a minus sin square a. So we found cos a and sin a values. So substitute these values here. So that cos square a which is equal to 4 by 5 whole square minus sin square a which is equal to 3 divided by 5 whole square. So 4 by 5 whole square minus 3 by 5 whole square. 4 by 5 whole square is 16 divided by 25. 3 by 5 whole square is 9 divided by 25. So 16 divided by 25 minus 9 divided by 25. So you have to take the LCM. LCM is 25. So 25, 16 minus 9 whole divided by 25. So 16 minus 9 is 7. So cos square A minus sin square A which is equal to 7 divided by 25. Therefore, LHS which is equal to RHS. Therefore, we can say that 1 minus tan square A divided by 1 plus tan square A which is equal to cos square A minus sin square a. If you like my videos, please subscribe and give your valuable feedback and for more notifications, please press bell button. Thank you friends.